Uh, hey, uh, my name's Philly. I play guitar in a band called Norma Jean, and we're going to check out some of my gear today. Uh, my number one is my new guy. He's this fella. Um, it's got a little boo-boo on it already. Uh, I got this, in this on the first leg of this tour in Texas. It's the LTD SN1000W. Uh, it's got a Wilkinson trim. Uh, got a Seymour Duncan. We all use Seymour Duncan stuff. Uh, they just make the best pickups. It's got a custom five and then two hot singles that are uh, noise canceling. They're like reverse wound. Um, noise canceling volume tone. Depending on the room, like sometimes I'll, I'll dial this back if it's a little too like trebly or, or bright. Most of the time it's just they're both full on. Uh, we use Dunlop 12 to 54. Uh, the heavy core, uh, they just make great strings. They, a lot of strings, like, they just tend to never end up stretching out all the way. Uh, these, it's just like, you stretch them, tune them up, and then they, you know, they're good. So we change strings about every two shows, because we are the sweatiest band on earth, probably. But, uh, but yeah, that's about it. Locking tuners. Uh, maple neck, maple fretboard. Uh, I got this guitar just because I'm obsessed with Jimi Hendrix, and Jimi Hendrix is the best guitar player of all time, and all other guitar players aren't as good, so why strat it is. Um, and then number two is this guy, uh, which they actually don't really don't kind of make anymore. Uh, it's an X tone. It's made by ESP as well. Um, but it's sort of like if you've seen the Ben Wyman from Dillinger signature, it's kind of the guitar that that was based off of. Um, it's got a JB-59, sort of set up like a Les Paul, you know, so independent volume and tone, toggle switch. Uh, semi hollow body, which people are always kind of tend to be a little surprised by because uh, it, it doesn't technically like lend itself to what we do but it actually tonally speaking I think really does it kind of like widens it out if that makes sense um, yeah and I mean in Norma Jean like we kind of are trying to just ride the border between chaos and uh, whatever it's just a little bit left of that so um, yeah it just kind of works I can control the feedback really easily with this which is cool um, Spurzels um, or Spurzels or however you say it. And plus it's just cool looking. It's gold. It's been beat up. We're, we're not, we're not uh, exactly easy on our guitars in the Gene Camp. You kind of have to earn your spot in the boat. So this one's been around for a long, long time. So uh, Pedals. First of all, black, uh, Blackbird boards make just great Great, great pedal boards. I can't say enough nice things about those dudes. The beginning of my chain, I guess it goes right into this tuner. Uh, TU3, I kind of don't like it as much <laughs> as the TU2. This one's technically a little more like on, but it's also a little more like, uh, like the TU2 just goes, uh, and you're there. Okay, with well, the TU3, you gotta fool with it a little more. Um, but, you know, industry standard, I guess. Uh, then it goes to this Seymour Duncan Overdrive. Uh, this is sort of, I guess, based off of like a Tube Screamer circuit, but it's cool because it has its own independent sort of like three band EQ there. Um, I just push the level with the gain all the way down, uh, and I can kind of explain why here in a second. But from there, it goes to my Abominable Electronics Hell Satan Russian Muff uh, Fuzz Pedal. Um, this thing is my favorite pedal it's probably my favorite fuzz pedal i've ever used uh and the dude at abominable is so cool to me so um, it's it has like a you hit this one it's just your normal fuzz you hit that one it engages the leds in the circuit and then those leds are actually like his eyes so when you hit the strings his eyes light up so that's kind of cool um just a really gnarly fuzz pedal uh, this this is the Digitech drop pedal. Um, this thing has kind of been a game changer for us. We don't have to bring, like in this set, I think we've got 
three, sometimes four different tunings. Um, and this thing, without this pedal, it would we would have to have so many more guitars. Um, this thing is just awesome. But there is like sort of not real. It's one of those things you kind of feel more than you hear, as nerdy as that is to sound. But as it sounds, but it's kind of got a little bit of latency to it. Doesn't track like it tracks really, really well in a live setting. You're never gonna be able to tell. But I would never try to record with it. But in order to kind of like boost that signal, sometimes I'll run this overdrive with the level cranked and the gain all the way down, just to kind of thicken that up. Because when we're going from C sharp down to A, it does kind of lose a little bit of oomph. So uh, a lot of times I'll subsidize it with that. Uh, from there, it goes to the sort of Norma Jean secret weapon pedal. Um, this is the best octave pedal that's ever been invented. Uh, it's the T-Rex Octavius. Uh, when I first joined this band, I was using, I was actually using this drop pedal as my low octave pedal. Uh, and they were like, no, 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 we gotta get one, of, we're getting one of these. And so, I, I am completely sold. Uh, it's like a pog on steroids. It has this boost, which is cool. Um, because a lot of times there'll be like a volume drop, but you hit that boost, it brings it back up. And the boost itself sounds really good independently. Um, so yeah, this is the one here for sure. Then it goes noise suppressor, NS2. Uh, it just kind of works the best from every, I'm sorry, I got my hair on. It just kind of works the best from all the ones I've ever tried. It just sort of like, I don't know, it's cheap, it sounds good, it works really well. Uh, you just can't really beat that pedal. Then from there, it goes to this shapeshifter, Seymour Duncan. Uh, it's a stereo tremolo, I don't run it, I only run it in mono, but um, it's pretty cool. You can't really see it, but like the, t the tempo or whatever is lit up and this knob will, will blink at, with the tempo, which is pretty cool. This, it does all kinds of cool stuff. I kind of just use it for like the end of the world sound at the end where I'll just click this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, all these on and it just sounds like your speakers are going to fall apart. Um, that's the sound I'm going for, I guess. Uh, and from there it goes, let's see, to this guy, a uh, supercomputer of a delay pedal. It does way more than I understand. Um, and in the studio, it's it's awesome. I would usually prefer to, I like, it's got such a big footprint, I would like it to be just sort of normal size, mostly because I could just fit more pedals on here. Um, but it sounds really, really good. Um, it has a tap tempo, it has a looper. It's, we could do a whole episode on just what this pedal does that I don't understand. Uh, from here, it goes to this pedal. This is actually a TC Electronics, I guess they did like a, a Guitar Center exclusive version of the Hall of Fame. Um, and I just happened to pick one up in a trade and it had these stickers on there. I don't really know what those stickers are, but I just never bothered to take them off. Um, it's just a Hall of Fame reverb essentially with a few extra little things. The cool thing about these pedals is it has the tone print. Uh, technology where you can go in and shape you create your own pedal essentially so I just went in and made this thing that sounds like a helicopter you never can't find a pedal that makes that noise but you can make this one make it which is pretty cool um, yeah and that's pretty much it I like to run these two after the noise suppressor um, so it doesn't choke off like my delay trails and my reverb so like it's the signal from the suppressor is what's getting uh, the delay signal. So, yeah, that's pretty much it as far as pedals. Um, amps, we use the EVH5153. Um, I've got, I have a lot of amps, um, but this thing is just a monster, man. It's huge, first of all, it's really heavy, uh, but it's it just sounds so good. It's like, very saturated, but like clear, you, you know, it's like transparent at the same time. And the best thing about this, these amps, um, is actually the clean channel, which is surprising because usually on high gain amps, I find that that's the thing that suffers the most. But this, like being made by Fender, it's essentially got a Fender clean channel, uh, 
built into a super high gain amp. So, but the clean channel is not just like good for a high gain amp. It's like legit, really good clean channel. Um, there's sort of this trend that happened that was uh, completely unintentional, but my amp's white, my pedal board's white, my main guitar is white. It didn't happen on purpose. It just sort of happened that way. But uh, yeah, man, I can't say enough good things about EVH. Uh, yeah, so that's about it. Thanks for checking out our gear. Um, we got a new record came out in September called Polar Similar. Check that out if you haven't listened to it. And uh, get any sort of info you need from normagenoise.com.